How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Caswell Customs. Vinny here. So you can see, we're back in the trailer. So, you know, as you can see, it's a little unfinished, kind of grody. Um, you know, it's, it's worked great. I mean, it is so much more comfortable in here. AC working, lights working. It's a huge upgrade from last trailer. But, I'm gonna finally get the walls painted, get some trim work done, and get that floor laid. So, got a rubber uh, garage mat flooring going in here. It's real thin, but it should be real uh, sturdy. Shouldn't have any issues with the snowmobiles. So we're gonna go ahead and start uh, pretty much just sanding on the walls with the orbital sander and then get Peyton. And then uh, I've actually been sick the last few days. Uh, I went and got tested for the, you know, the, the thing. Um, I guarantee it's gonna come back negative. I mean, I feel 100% already. I got sick Wednesday. It's Saturday and I already feel back to normal, so I doubt it's that, but we'll find out when I get my results. But uh, so I know the other guys are here. I'm um, kind of just keeping away from everybody until I officially confirm that. But uh, so I'm going to be doing all this work today by myself. So let's get to it. So I wanted a place to mount the generator um, when we're parked and something I could like hook it to. So I got this uh, this front tongue rack and it'll sit on that. This is all the rest of it. But uh, it's basically just gonna get mounted up right over here and that way we'll be able to rest the generator on it. So we'll start building that. So I think my camera stopped recording at some point, but it is mounted and on there. So let me go grab the generator and uh, throw it up there. Since there's a million holes, um, we're gonna go ahead and fill it with some of this plastic wood. Um, I'm gonna try and cover over all those holes, cover over the screws and stuff like that. Um, that way it looks just a little bit nicer. It doesn't look like there's a million just holes in the wall when we paint. Um, and then we're gonna have trim to hopefully fill all those gaps. It's not gonna be perfect because you can see the, the angles aren't perfect, but it's gonna be enough to just look clean and nicer than it was. So I'm gonna start laying this down.
just got done uh, running the leaf blower inside of there, blowing everything out. Now I'm gonna get a wet washcloth and wipe all the walls down, and then we're gonna start painting. some kills to gray um, for the walls so it give us a nice gray color and uh, it's kind of like an exterior kind of paint so uh, should, uh, should be a nice look so we'll go ahead and uh, put this on the walls first layer on and uh, it's definitely made it a lot brighter in here which is nice so gonna let it sit do a second layer and then uh, obviously we're gonna do white trim um, maybe black I'm not quite sure I haven't decided yet I think white will go with the roof but you know black would also go with all the uh, outlet covers and everything on top of the fact that the uh, uh, you, what is it called? The uh, C track uh, hook in for the beds and other tie downs are going to be black. So who knows? We'll see. But uh, first coat on. All right. So I just knocked out some quick things here. Uh, it's Sunday morning. Uh, I went ahead and got um, these uh, air vents for just circulating air put on. So we got one on the bottom of the rear and the other one up above the TV in the front. That way we get some nice air circulation through the trailer. So it'll pull in through there, exit out through the back. Uh, and that way it'll help feed the air conditioner. Now I'm looking at uh, putting up the E-Track. So we're gonna do one row at the bottom there and then one row mid-height. Basically the idea is I'm gonna make beds that hook into the E-Track, so that way they just hook in, the legs will flip out, the uh, platform for your mattress, and then when we go to drive, there'll be another row about mid-height, and they'll basically get unhooked, flipped up, laid against the wall, and strapped to that other piece of E-Track. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that started. got done getting all of our uh, tie down points removed so now we can go ahead and unravel this and start laying our flooring 
Um, it'll only come up just about to the fan. Uh, it's a 22 by 8.5 foot section. And so we're going to trim over the wheel wells, the door sill gap, and it should stop just short. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and start laying it out. started uh, making our trimming around the wheel wells and then uh, did the same around the door sill and then now we are getting the tie down points put back in so uh, floor is coming along good so I think we decided uh, Grace and I that we we're gonna actually leave this lifted like that um, and just put a piece of like molding at the top of it that way as far as ice and snow and everything that builds up in here we'll just be able to angle the trailer straight back and have everything run out to the back of the trailer I think uh, I think uh, that's gonna be kind of the best option that way everything flows out the rear you don't get stuff falling out the sides. Hopefully it doesn't get behind the moisture barrier that we laid down underneath there into the insulation. So uh, I'm super happy with this floor. Got a great price on it. I think it's like 198 bucks for 22 feet. And like everything else I saw was like $400. And it was free shipping. So link for this flooring will be in the description. Um, this was a great find. Super happy with it. Uh, highly recommend it. Hopefully, it looks like it's pretty sturdy. Hopefully it'll hold up with the carbides. Now we're gonna have to put some uh, runners down, but I mean, it's it's garage. It is a garage flooring, like it's meant for your garage, so I think it's gonna be good. All right, so we got the tie downs all in, in the front, in the rear, the floor, pretty much in. Still gonna like finish siliconing everything, but I mean, the floor is mostly in here. It's, uh, it's way nicer than the wood floors, that's for sure. So super happy with how this uh, is turning out. So uh, I think that's what we're going to call it for the weekend. Uh, I'd say that's a decent amount done with the walls being painted, the floor getting laid. So super happy with that progress. Uh, we are taking a trip up to Traverse City this weekend for Labor Day. Nice long weekend. So it's going to be a lot more comfortable than it already was before. So just making those tiny improvements a little bit by a little bit. Uh, obviously still gotta get the cabinets built, do all the trim work, but we're getting there. We're getting there and everything should be completed before snowmobile season, which I'm so ready for. But anyways, thanks for watching another episode of Caswell Customs. I'm Vinny. Thanks again, Grace. And see you in the next one. You stole my heart of gold after my silver soul. Can you take